Alright, it's time for another math. Easy solution here to discuss. We'll further into limits and basically do examples part two of this example series on limits in general. Basically, before we get to that, I just want to just go over this little theorem here on uh, one side limits. I went over in an earlier video. You can see a video link below. I just want to recap quickly. Basically, limit as x approaches a of, of f of x equals l if and only if it approaches L from the left side, de de denoted by this negative sign at above the A, and by the right side, denoted uh, by this plus sign here. So this just means that um, if you have a function like this, yes, yeah, so you have a function like this, f of x here, and, and it basically it's just saying that it's only, the limit only exists if you're approaching from both sides. The plus is the negative side of A, and it's both, both of it is approaching to A. That's the only way you can have a limit here. And uh, so basically, it just says this is the only way it ex exists. So now we'll use this for uh, some examples. So now the first example basically states, show that the limit of absolute value of x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0 here. To do this, we got we can uh, break this up into uh, separate functions so that we could solve it basically for going from the left side of 0 and the right side and see if it's going to both equal each other. And the uh, best way to do this, if you recall an absolute value video, basically, uh, you could write this as, I mean, absolute value of x here, you could write it in a separate one. So this just means it equals to x for x is greater than or equal to 0. So that's if x greater than or equal to 0. And equals to negative x if x is less than uh, 0 here. So this just means that it's always positive here, or the, you're taking the absolute value of it. You can see more in a video link below on absolute values. So basically, we break it up into this function, these two right here. So now we could f find the limit as x approaches 0 from, let's say, the negative side here. And the negative side is going to be this one right here, or where x is less than 0. So we're going to put f negative x. And this one, we can just plug this in. We're going to get, well, 0 or negative 0. So it's going to be 0 right here so from, the right si from, the, from the left side. And if we approach from the right side, we're going to have plus here. This is going to be just an x. That's this one here from the right side. And this equals 2, well, is 0 as well. So both sides uh, approach 0. Thus, uh, then the limit is basically, uh, in general, of x approaches 0 of absolute value of x is equal to 0 right here. And in fact, if you were to graph out absolute value of x, it's just going to be a, a, just a line like this, a line on both sides like this, a mirrored image of there. And as you can see, the limit from either side is approaching to zero right here. So now it brings, uh, brings me to the second example here. Example two basically says, prove that limit of absolute value of x divided by x as x approaches zero does not exist here. And we're going to do the same thing as above, just break it up into uh, two functions here. So what you could do now is you could write limit as x approaches 0 from the, the left side or the negative side, you know that this absolute value is going to be a negative there. It's going to be negative x here, like uh, like in the example above. So then divided by x, this one doesn't get changed because it's not an absolute value. Now this just equals to, yeah, well this one here, before we uh, plug in the value, well we have to first, we could simplify this by canceling these out because this approaches 0, so it doesn't actually, we, we're not actually going to have a number divided by 0 here. So it, it's never, so x is not equal to 0 in this limit here. We're not considering that. So basically, we can cancel these out. So we're dividing by something approaching 0 when it doesn't actually equal 0. So if we cancel it out, we're just going to get a negative 1 here. x divided by x is 1. But there's a negative sign. So we have a negative 1 there. Now if we look at the limit as uh, x approaches from the right side or the positive side of 0, we're going to get, now this one's going to, the absolute value is going to be x. And then it gets just like an uh, example above, then divided by x. And same as above, since we're not dividing by 0, just a number close to 0, we could cancel. And this is just going to be, well, this is this is just going to be cancel. It's going to be limit. Yeah, this limit as x approaches 0 from the right side of 1. This just equals to 1, like above here. So now these don't equal here. Negative 1 does not equal to 1. So we're going to have, it's approaching from the, from the left side, we get negative 1. From the right side, we get 1. Thus, limit does not exist. And if you were to graph it, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to graph because as you can see, this, th these always cancel for, it doesn't matter what you're approaching x from, if it's on the negative side, we're going to get just negative 1, and then this one's always going to be uh, plus 1, because these x's cancel, even if this was approaching from, let's say, 3, we're still going to get 1. So the graph will look like, yeah, so if you were to graph the function, it would look, some, it would look like this one right here, of uh, absolute value of x divided by x. So it's just going to be 1 when it's greater than 0, and negative 1 when it's less than 0. And, and, and these are circles here, so it's an open circle, so it doesn't actually equal 1 at 0 here. It's just the limit is approaching it. So from the left side, you're approaching this. And the right side, you're approaching this right here. So then there's no limit. 
Now the last example I want to go for, I'll go over today is this one here. Basically, states if f of x is equal to this two functions in one, basically square root of x minus four if x is greater than four, and eight minus two x here if x is less than four here. And basically, it says determine if the limit as x approaches four of if x exists here. So this one here, it's not defined four uh, x equals four, but it doesn't matter for the limits. All, all it matters is approaching four. So to determine this one, we're going to use the same one-sided limit approach, look at both sides. So we look at, let's say, first one, x approaches uh, 4 from the negative side or from the less than uh, 4 side of f of x. So that's just going to be now limit, yeah, limit of uh, x approaches 4 from the left side of 8 minus 2x right here. And this is equal, we could just plug this 4 inside. So we're going to get 8 minus 2 times 4, which is 8. You know, 8 minus 2 times 4 is equal to, this is 8. So this is just going to be 8 minus 8. It's going to be 0 here. So and then if we look at the, from the right side, limit as x approaches 4 positive. Yeah, so and from the right side, which is greater than 4 side, it's going to be, a, we look at this function up top, square root x minus 4 right here. And this one, again, we could just plug this one in. And we're going to get, well, this equals 2. Yeah, square root 4 minus 4 equals square root 0 equals to 0. Square root 0 is just 0 right here. So as you can see, both sides have the limit. Uh, both of them are approaching 0 from both sides. Thus, the limit exists. Uh, thus, it is exists, and it equals to 0 right here. Yeah, and if you were to graph this function, it would look something like this. Because the first part is a linear function, 8 minus 2x. So it goes down like this. At 4, it's an open circle. It doesn't actually equal it. And then it goes up in a square root like function over there. So then in the limit, they're both approaching zero from both sides. So zero right here. Well, uh, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned about uh, you know this these useful examples on limits. And remember, you can download these notes in the Dropbox link below. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.